Hey what's up you guys, this is SGB618 here and today I felt like talking about my collection today because I felt like it's been quite a while since I've done that. Um, as you can see, there have been like a little few differences and adjustments compared to the last time that I showed you my shelf. But what we're going to do today, I'm not showing you my shelf. What I want to do is use my shelf, show you what I do have. And then like little parts of my collection, I even have a few more stuff up here, it can't even fit. Um, what I want to do is just go through a couple of the stuff that I want to complete. So series of collectibles that I want to finish maybe this year or pr preferably this year. And um, what it would look like, I'll show them on screen the stuff that I want to get as well. So that you guys can have a little idea of my goals for the collection and all that because I haven't really looked at my collection that much on this channel as in, in recent videos um, I still collect stuff and with gaming markets as well there are a couple of stuff that I do want to pick up there so yeah let's just go straight into it so as you can see right here I have three Mario Kart carts from Mario Kart 7 and they look really cool so I have the mushroom one the banana cup and the shell cup and they all look really cool now for some reason this is so weird they didn't make which cups was it again they didn't make the flower cup and they didn't make the star cup I have no idea why but yeah so it's the mushroom cup banana cup shell cup and then it's the leaf cup lightning cup and the special cup so obviously I need the other ones um, that would look so cool. I'm looking to have like a little display of all of them when I have them. I'm thinking of even having the other two that were even made. Like custom made. That's how much I want a full set of these. I think this is the one that I want a full set on the most. The only problem is these aren't that cheap. Well you can probably tell because like they're proper shiny. You can probably see me in the reflection so hello. <laughs> But um, yeah, moving forwards, you see this light, I've only had this one for some reason. I would like to have a few more, there's so many cool 8-bit designs, both gaming and non-gaming. So I just thought, well, it would be nice to get some more. Again, London Gaming Market is a massive help for me because they have pretty much everything there. So that should be pretty helpful as well. Um, okay, this isn't Nintendo really, but I think I can call this my game collection, like my video game collection, not just Nintendo, but I have two Crash Bandicoot um, pop games figures, um, I have the Crash Bandicoot with scuba gear, and I've got um, Dots and Neo Cortex, both of them are really cool, however at Game Market I have seen a Coco one, and I believe a regular Crash, I really want both of those two. So, at some point at one of these gaming markets, or even if I go to my local game or something, the one in Kingston or maybe the one in some other place, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll try and get some of these. I've even seen a nitrous oxide one and I didn't even know they made that. And quite possibly the one that I want the most at the moment is literally Crash Bandicoot in a car. You know I want that. I know it's a bit more expensive because it's a lot bigger, but I am actually, I would so get that, trust me. Okay, so moving on to controllers, um, there isn't really that many controllers that I want. It's mostly like, I think the one that comes to my mind is like an adapter for the Switch that allows you to use other console controllers on it. I think 8-Bit Do makes one, 8-Bit Do Do, whatever. Um, and another company called Mayflash. I want to use that because if you guys didn't know the DualShock 4 is my favourite controller. Full stop. It's just so comfortable and it fits my hand perfectly. So it would be nice to use that on my Nintendo Switch. The console that I'm using the most by far at the moment. Now even though I don't play on my Wii that often. Like on the Nintendo Wii. I do want to get a classic controller again. Because I used that a lot when playing Mario Kart Wii back in the day. And it was super helpful. Unfortunately I used it so much that it just stopped working. And also I can't find it. So um, I'll try and have a look for another one. I think that would just be nice to have in the house. So 
from the one or two times that I actually turn on my Wii and play a game, I would be able to play it with a classic controller, which would be nice. Maybe even a pro controller, which is basically the classic controller but with handles. I don't know, but yeah, like I said, there isn't that many controllers that I want. Um, it, maybe it would be nice to get a few 8-bit dough controllers, but um, I'm not really that desperate. I already have my pro controller for Switch, and I already have my SN30, which I've done an unboxing on on the channel. Actually, both controllers I just mentioned, actually. I'm just moving down here for a second. Obviously, you can probably see that my, um, my Switch setup is slightly different because I've got... Um, different speakers this time we don't have the one in the middle which is nice and um, cable management is obviously on point um, but the reason why I'm down here is because under my cool little piranha plant amiibo which is also sort of new and um, those are my switch games you can't really see them but um, yeah this, there are quite a few switch games that I want to get so the two that I'm super desperate for is obviously Streets of Rage 4 which hasn't come out yet at this point in time and I still don't know when that's out so I'm gonna be saving up for that I also want to get what's it called again Mega Drive Classics Collection or something like that I still call it Genesis that's why I always get confused when I say that title I might be from the UK and we call it Mega Drive over here I still call it Genesis um, I haven't tried Captain Toad before, so that would be pretty nice to pretty much purchase that and give that a shot. I only tried the 3D World levels, so we'll see how that goes. Also, my favourite Zelda game got a remake on the Switch, and I still haven't played it yet. I don't know why I haven't bought this game yet, but that needs to be purchased at some point. And um, also, another thing, probably the final game that I really want to get... Um, is regular Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Now not only don't I already have this game, I already have this game downloaded on my Wii U, I want a physical copy of it to put with the rest of my Mario Kart collection. I'm extra like that and it's been two gaming markets where I've put that to the side. I was like okay yeah it's there, it's £12 but I can't be bothered to buy it. Hopefully next time when I go I will pick that up. And also, it might be nice to pick up a few of these lights as well. These lights are super cool. Right, just... Yeah. And then I've got a 1-Up Mushroom one as well. That does the same thing. Yeah. That would be pretty neat as well. I'm just kind of liking all of the little stuff that I have. Like all of these keychains. Ah, you see these? Shout out to my auntie. She made those. Um, She made all, all of these actually. But these two are obviously are my favourite for reasons that are obvious <laughs> yeah like i've got little figurines here okay that's a straight up game but you know what i mean oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah i forgot so um i actually want to try and get a game boy color because i have an original game boy i have um advanced sp and i pretty much have the other handhelds after that maybe not all of them i'm probably not thinking straight but basically i have all of the main stages of the Game Boy apart from the Game Boy Color so I will try and get that at some point and plus I have a ton of original Game Boy games that will probably look nice on the Game Boy Color so might as well try and get that as well then obviously in the complete darkness you can see my Pokemon figures I want to get a few of those so that if I move house or something or like anything else it would just be nice to like have a little flood of them there I thought I just think that would be pretty cool to have but what I want to do is I just want to fill this shelf up more the more little stuff that I have the more I can place because all the big stuff it won't fit right so yeah that's pretty much all I'm after this year I know that there was a quite a few stuff that I mentioned in this video Hopefully I gave you guys tips on what you want for your collections this year or just stuff that you want in general. Um, comment down below if you are growing your video game collection as well and let me know a couple of stuff that you would recommend me buying and stuff that you want to buy yourself because I'll be very interested to know. Anyway, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.